old songs. We still love them. This is another old one that we brought out. We're going to feature Brian Turner singing lead for you on this one. It's one that uh, a lot of you play in jam sessions. We just play it because we like it. Brian does a good job singing. I want to make mention before we get too far along, I'm, I'm behind on a lot of this cyber stuff, so I'll just tell you, if you have a computer, laptop, iPad, all that stuff, go to stevegully.com and you can keep up with where we are, where we're going to be, and uh, you can keep up with some of these guys. If they owe you money, you can find them really easily, because I'll tell you where they are, okay? But uh, go to stevegully.com and find out where we're going to be. I want to make mention we had a show in Cumberland Gap, Tennessee. A lot of you, I know some folks, I saw some folks from London, Kentucky, from different places up toward my part of the country. If you're uh, up, up and down 75, it's a short drive over to Cumberland Gap from Knoxville. And uh, we have a show every month called the Cumberland Mountain Music Show that features my dad. A lot of folks ask about my wife, Debbie. My beautiful wife was uh, nearly 30 years at Renfro Valley. She's with us on that show. You can come by and see a lot of these folks included in it too. Uh, we can give you information on that. And it's always listed at stevegully.com. This portion of the Friday Night Opry brought to you by <laughs> Jogging in a Jug. You ever wonder what would happen? They used to have two big sponsors on the opera. Jogging in a jug and Zim's crack cream. <laughs> what happened if you rubbed on that Zim's crack cream and then drunk a bunch of jogging in a jug, would you run your hind end off? Is that what happened? <laughs> We're gonna do this old tune for you, the folks that like flat and scrubs and strip real bluegrass music. This is one of my favorites. This is Brian Turner singing for you. No mother or dad. <laughs>